There we go. We're back into it. Uh, so, so sorry to everybody. I really do apologize. That is, um, OBS just decided to crash on its own right there. Um, stream starting? Hello? Okay, apparently I have no output. What? Hopefully it's streaming. That is going to be, uh, well, at least I'll keep casting at this point. Rainer's going to be picked off. The entire team is going to be picked off, and that is going to be the core addressed. Um, yep. All right. Stream, please. Well, that looks like it's going to be the end of it, and I don't think anyone's going to be able to catch it. Maybe they might get it. Uh, we'll see here. But that is going to be game number two going over to the members of Montreal Style Bagels. GG. Well played. Okay. And actually, Streamlabs OBS is not better because it doesn't really work with some things that I need it to work with. I really, really can't stand the Streamlabs OBS. Um, it's actually the crashes, yeah. Uh, the crashes are from... Couldn't tell ya! Just in time, exactly. Uh, I do apologize about that. Thank you so much for everyone who hung out. Um, sorry that it just literally crashed right there. My apologies. Yeah, Streamlabs OBS is, um, I've, I've actually found it to be more problematic than anything else. Okay. All right. Whew. Stream rip. Yeah, exactly, Fel. Uh, let me go ahead and find out if someone wants to do an interview. Uh, at Mr. Oh. Leave me alone, Automod. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. <laughs> uh, but sorry to everybody. Sorry about that, that it literally crashed right there. I heard, like, the noise go off, and I was like, nope. We're going to be... It does this to me, I I'd say, once in a blue moon. There's, like, some update that has to happen in the background, and it's like, no matter what you do, it's going to just get wrecked. Because I had the same, I had someone tell me the exact same issue with uh, Streamlabs OBS. Like, there is probably a video driver update, or there is a Windows update, or um, may your bagels be plentiful. Um, does Mr. Christie not want to do an interview? No? No interview? Let me message him in game. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Hey, Sierras, what's up? Thanks for coming by. I hope you're having a wonderful night. Uh, okay. All right, let me jump up to interview. We can at least get you all this interview. Ah, Cirrus! Why cheer for teams when I can cheer for Baja? Hello. Thank you, thank you, Cirrus. Hello, Mr. Christie. Congratulations on your 2 of victory. How are you feeling after that matchup? We're feeling great again. <laughs> that, was a, dealing, we've been back. <laughs> that was a really, really good set between the two teams. So I want to go. I want to go back. Let's talk about Towers of Doom at the start. It's one yep. to twenty-six, and there's one altar that will literally win you the game. What were the comms like when it was basically Samuro versus your team? <laughs> we were all <laughs> laughing and just, what the hell is this? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. What the hell is happening? <laughs> can't is, do anything. That was, it was just such like, I was sitting there and I was just like, how is this happening? How is this happening? Why are they doing this? What, what, why? It just is such a, <laughs> it was such a, such a good back and forth, but that was, that was a really good play. And then, so moving over to game number two, they went for first pick for the map or uh, on the map and you went for Battlefield of Eternity. Any specific reason why did you feel more comfortable there? Or can you talk a little bit about that? Um, it's one of my comfort and I'm the one choosing the map. So hey. I go for this. Deal with my team, team always want to go for, yeah, because they want Cursed Hollow, but. I'm not hmm. none of that. Unfortunately, you banned out Cursed Hollow, so you didn't even allow your team to have their map. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Shh, they don't 
Well, hopefully, just hope. Uh, <laughs> fingers crossed. None, none of them watch the VOD. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, but the uh, so the other the other follow up question I had on on that as well is when it comes to the draft that you put out for Battlefield of Eternity, it wasn't very. Um, you know, burn the immortal dependent. It was very, it, it, it synergized in a lot of ways, you know, with Orth Orphea and Thrall, as well as just your fight compositions worked out really well. Was that the intention? Was just to always fight and win through fights? Or can you talk a little about how you tried to play Battlefield of Eternity? Because um, it was really great. Um, the, uh, regarding the draft, it's always um, very last minute. So we don't have a plan <laughs> as usual. It comes along and at the end of the draft, we're always like, oh, wait. We didn't draft anything to race for the Immortal. <laughs> it's going to be hard. Um, but um, yeah, last pick trial was also to, uh, I guess, to help with the, the Orphea and the old, let's say, combo we had. Because it's mm -hmm. not the first time we've played ETC Orphea uh, together. Um, so yeah, so the last pick was pretty much that. That was, it was, it was a really, really great synergy that you put together i i had a blast with it but uh it looked like after after game number one you did not want to deal with that samuro anymore <laughs> you yep. definitely banned that out right away uh yep. it, it was it was it was a really 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 great set and really really great matches to cast uh before i let you go any shout outs that you would like to give um shout out to you because i forgot the last time oh. uh, shout out to my team <laughs> and shout out to Heroes Lounge, we've been having a lot of fun since the beginning. And so thank you all. Oh, well, thank you so much for the matches. They were absolutely a blast, and I can't wait to see you further down in the Heroes Lounge season.